It's Saturday. It's menu planning Saturday again. What is going on with the concept of time? This is the sunniest day we've had in I don't know how long. My, my pupils don't know what to do right now. Um, but we're back again with what are we going to have for dinner next week? Bear with me with this light. I have been trying to like readjust things and um, when I go against a color backdrop, I become a color. It's, I apologize. Anyway, so let's talk about something. It's menu planning related, so it's okay. But um, since I started doing those little like snap videos for what we're having for dinner, I have become so aware of what is in our refrigerator, our leftovers, and I, I prided myself on being good with leftovers, but things were still going to waste. I fully admit that. Things would get tucked behind something and then you unearth it and go, what could this have been? Um, I fully admit that did happen to me as diligent as I was about leftovers, but I became even more aware of them and was sending, I've been sending my husband to work more with leftovers and making him like a bento box and stuff. And he's on board with that. So we don't waste anything, but we have been able to get by with just a lot of leftovers and we don't mind that we're a family that does not mind that in the least fortunately um so i was able to roll a lot of meals let me go count how many i was able to roll three meals normally it's one maybe two but never three so i'm impressed because i always plan for two nights of leftovers when i meal plan so i need five meals but we've been maybe getting three four nights of leftovers you know sometimes with a leftover I might make something in addition like we need some extra rice or extra pasta for the toppings of things um, but all in all I'm hoping this is gonna save us some money at the grocery store fingers crossed so the three meals we're rolling are the baked ravioli with peppers and onions and also the black pepper chicken tenders with peppers and onions and maybe a side dish I can't remember it'll be all in my little list um and a third meal oh the apple chicken sausage with something with the french onion dip potatoes and a caesar salad so those are some you know hefty meals that will also yield leftovers so we got like a little avalanche going and I'm here for it <laughs> Not avalanche. We got a ball rolling. I got like the Indiana Jones ball rolling in my head right now. I haven't had coffee. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway, for the two meals, I had to brainstorm. So this week, my husband is not home. He's home late one night and not home for two nights for dinner because it's parent teacher nights and club rush and a lot of things that take place after school into dinner time and beyond. So by the time he gets home, we are all cleaned up and not having dinner anymore. And also his school will be providing some sustenance for the teachers. So on Monday, when we do our Aldi pickup, I thought somebody needed me. On Monday, when we do our Aldi pickup, we're gonna get some Aldi pizza to heat up. So one night we can just have pizza, quick and easy for when my husband's not home. When he's not home for dinner, I try to keep things to leftovers. We're super duper easy because that change in routine greatly affects my son and I need to um, refocus my energies elsewhere than preparing a meal. Um, and then for the other meal, a new, a new dinner, um, a breakfast for dinner, it is um, sausage egg McMuffin breakfast casserole thought it sounded interesting to try and yeah that's what we got going on this week so tell me are you a leftover person leftover family because I know some people are you know one and done with a dinner um, and I'm just curious if you are a one and done like dinner situation are you making enough just for one meal what what or if you do have leftovers what happens to them I'm curious okay I hope you're having a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.